fireplace, get a small wood burner there. More open plan staircase in. More in keeping with it. Get rid of these, put slimline heaters in and open up the fireplace there as a little feature. Uh, it's a bit damp, uh, a bit overgrown, a bit, um, needs a lot of work doing to it. I think this potential uh, is certainly a big project. We're very close to the pub, so that's a, a big plus. Brand new kitchen. Everything's coming out, all ripped out, replastered. New ceilings, new flooring, tub, nice tile floor, new doors. And this hallway, the ideal when you come in, take your boots off, have a nice tiled floor. Rip out the bathroom, new bath, new ceiling. Yeah, we get there, in between cutting the grass and landscaping the garden. What are you expecting to see in six months time? <laughs> the grass, <laughs> three foot higher. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> well, I don't know, he's got a lot of work. A lot of work. I've got to get to it do. done before Kimberly's wedding next September. So it's a complete new uh, kitchen. The units I took out and threw them all away, they were disgusting. They hadn't been cleaned, full of grease. Clean the windows up. You have to go back and do some damp proofing and things. Oh, well, I've had the old place damp proofed. All the walls, the plaster was ripped off up to 4 4, then injected. This is an extension been built on. This is the original cottage wall. You can see how thick it is. And the doorway was made into it at some stage. <laughs> well, how old this front part? How old the back part? I've got a, I've got a found an old brick up in the loft. I don't know if you can see what it says. Yeah, read it out then. Well, it, it looks like 1768. Whether that's an indication when it was built, I don't know. But it, but by the shape of the lettering, it looks about that era anyway. Yeah, it's going to get units along this back wall. For all my books. All his books put yeah. up. So you can sit on the church pew and read a book. Yeah. As you came in the front door, the stairs went straight up that way. I've put a new trimmer beam in, got the stairs, literally turned them against the wall and put a new landing upstairs, new new posts and handrail. So there's now two double bedrooms. Two double bedrooms. And there'll be two bathrooms. Two bathrooms. More insulation in the loft and the little lard and plaster box room that was doing nothing really. I've turned into a, a, another bathroom, shower, toilet and wash basin. Well that fireplace was all blocked in. Rendered it, put a new oak beam in, plastered it, new tiles, new hearth, put a log burning stove in. So what's next on your to-do list? Finish the doors and start on the bathroom out there. That's going to be ripped out. New bathroom put in, tiled. Yeah, I've been here about 18 months. I had two trips to Australia since I've had the property, but it's all done up now inside. Bathroom upstairs, new bathroom downstairs, new kitchen, the old shed, watertight as a little workshop. Oh yeah, I found mouldings put on the beams. The total time renovating it probably took about nine months. Oh, it's looking really good. It's like a, a complete transformation of, of what it first was. Uh, nice and uh, clean and tidy and neat, nice bathrooms. Yeah, it's completely uh, reformed the place. The only original feature I've kept is the door leading into my bedroom. I took that off and had it stripped back. 
And when the bloke stripped it, he said that's one of the oldest doors he's ever had to do. So I assume that was an original door that was in here at the time it was built. I paid 132 for the property. I've spent 20 on it. I've had it recently valued, current market, pitch it at 192 and possibly get 186, 187. The estate agent said he didn't have anything else to compare no, it to. No, it's a one-off cottage of some history. You're never going to get another one built or replace it. We've got a nice vegetable plot now yeah, as well, with lots nice growing. Garden. Lovely. And uh, some nice sweet peas. Runner beans, carrots coming. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, there's uh, beetroot, spring onions, carrots, peas, rhubarb. And I'm looking forward to the runner beans. They seem to be doing well. Mm -hmm. And they're good for freezing as well. Got a nice little seated area that, that gets the sun in the late afternoon. Oh, you've got a, a patio that gets the sun in the morning, morning and one in the, in the afternoon. afternoon. That's the idea. Just there I want it now, yeah. Yeah, but it's a nice spot here as well. I wanna live in a boat I wanna live with my one true love And together we will float I wanna live in the ocean